So we have a function and we're asked to prove if it's injective, which is also called uh, one to one. So this set here, this is all the positive integers. So this is one, two, three, and so on. And this here is simply all integers. So this here is dot, 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 negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, et cetera. Okay, and the function is given by f of n equal to negative one to the n times n. So recall that a function is one to one if whenever f of a is equal to f of b, then we have that a is equal to b. So let's go ahead and do the proof. So since we have integers, let's use n and m. So we'll start by assuming that, so suppose, f of n is equal to f of m for some integers n, m in this set here. So these are positive integers, and that's actually going to matter. We're going to use that fact. So then the only thing we can really do is write down what this means. So f of n, well, that's right here. f of n is equal to negative 1 to the n times n. So this is negative 1 to the n times n. And that's equal to f of m. Well, that's the same thing. You simply replace n with m. So this is negative 1 to the m times m. And now we somehow have to show that n is equal to m. Well, one way to do this is to divide both sides by negative 1 to the m. So when we do that, we get negative 1 to the n times n divided by negative 1 to the m. And this is equal to m. Now, properties of exponents say that if you have x to the m over x to the n, that's x to the m minus n, right? You subtract. So we're going to do the same thing here with the, these guys, the n and the m. So I'm going to write the m over here, just writing this over here, and this is equal to negative 1 to the n minus m times little n. And we're actually done. We're actually done with the proof, and it's a little bit subtle, so let's explain why. Note, m is positive, n is positive, so this here is a positive number. This here is a positive number. So the only way that this entire right-hand side could be positive is if negative 1 to the n minus m is positive. And this entire right-hand side has to be positive, right? Because um, m is positive. Hence, this is positive. But there's only two choices for this number, 1 or negative 1. So negative 1 to the n minus m is equal to 1. Hence, m is equal to 1 times n, which is equal to n. So f is injective. Let me go over that again, because that's the key step in the proof. So first, you divide by negative 1 to the m, and then you use properties of exponents, and you get here. And then you realize, let me switch colors, that this here is positive. So this is greater than zero. And then this here is also positive. So this entire right-hand side has to be positive because it's equal to the left-hand side, which is positive. The only way that happens is if this here is a positive number. So what does that mean? That means that this here is equal to one because there's only two choices for this number, one and negative one. Okay, so we set it equal to one and then we get m equals n. So kind of uh, a cool proof. I hope that made sense.